So last week, if you remember, we were having trouble putting in the armor stone wall because the excavator wasn't able to pick up the stones or slipping off. Uh, so we kind of customized the little gripper thing, adjusted the size, added a little bit more grip so we could pick up the stones and after that it went pretty smoothly. I can show you the wall now. So as you can see, we put on the first course of the wall, then the next day we put on the second, made a few cuts to make the stone fit nicer. Well, generally speaking, this is your armor stone wall. It's meant to retain the earth behind it. Plus, also it looks better, right? It looks better having large natural stones rather than having smaller manufactured ones. Some customers like this stuff more. So after where we left off, by the end of the day, we figured it out. The next day, we ran the whole wall. And then the day after that, it took us a half day to put on the top course. Top course is easy. Once we have the first one set, the rest ones you just top. What's happening today, as you can see, we put on our base aggregates. We brought it up to height. This is the three quarter clear base. Now we're topping it off with a couple inches of HPB. We're going to grade that to make a perfect level and then to put the stones on top. For the backyard, we're at about 75%. See, some people think that laying down the interlock, if they don't see the interlock, then that's taking us too long or that's the longest part of the process. But realistically, it's getting the base ready, getting the grade in. That takes longer, a lot longer than just dropping the stone in. Dropping the stones in for an area this size will take us maybe half a day. Base prep, as you can see, took us two days to do. If everything goes smoothly from where you see over there, this entire area, maybe till about where we're standing, is going to be interlocked in. Not the cuts, but the interlock, the bulk of the stone is going to be in today. taking the tarp off the aggregates the MTO requires us to tarp it up so nothing flies off the truck <laughs> heavy equipment heavy equipment is fun The weather is much better than it was last time. It's not freezing cold, we're not getting snow. It's much perfect working conditions. This is before it gets too hot in the season, this is ideal. So what I'm doing now, I'm checking the height of our stone under the brick line. The customer requested that the stone be one inch below the brick. I just want to check that the brick line is all one level because our stone has to be one level. So if the brick's a little lower here or there, I'm going to check our lowest point. Right, so between here, we have perfect level. The brick layers did good. This is grading, right? So this is the final step before you put on the stone. That's I'm taking my time with the levels and everything. Once you set the grade, when you drop the stone, that's it. The stone is laid. It's important to grade well number one. It looks, you have to make the stones look that they want one level flat surface instead of having bumpy stones. So you want to take your time and grade it properly. Uh, the second one, I'm making sure that there's water runoff away from the house. If your grade goes towards the house, water runs through your concrete, erodes it, and give you leaks, cracks, etc. So I'm making sure the grade goes away from the house, and I'm also making sure it goes level across just for aesthetics, right? Uh, I got five yards for here. So we did the base with gravel, three quarter clear, about six to eight inches depending on height. And this is the top two inches just for the grade. 
So that material is about $40-$45 dollars per yard. So it's the cost of a homeowner, I picked this up for about $260. So these are called spinning poles and use pretty much any thick metal pipe. So we've created about a third to a half of this. As you can see, the top looks like glass. So then when we put the stone down, it looks exactly like that on top of the stone as well. Now we're going to be here another maybe half hour. We'll get the top graded and then we're going to start laying the stone. So far, so good. <laughs> I hate to say everything is going good because then something always happens. So the game plan is, it's kind of dictated by the fact that we cannot step on it once it's graded. Once it's graded like that, I step on it, it makes a little divot and then the stone divots as well. So we have to plan around laying the stone without damaging the grade on top. So there I left a little ungraded section because we have the stone right there. So we're going to bring it over the ungraded section and lay. And then as we keep laying, we're going to keep stepping on the stone that's already laid, lay the next one, the next one, and so on. So we never actually step on the grade that we did. I'm just checking for laying the interlock. If there's a set pattern or a random lay, so I know what I'm doing when I'm laying. So right now I'm not seeing any specific pattern chosen. I'm going to random lay it. Random laying means there's certain rules to it. It still looks good and it makes the password for me to lay flat with that. Uh, so tomorrow is Good Friday, so we can't use our excavator or bobcat because of noise regulation. So I'm going to get my fin dropped and finish my excavation today. So I'm laying a random pattern, which means the basic general laying rules is I don't put the same stone right next to each other. Vary the stone types and then the running lines at the joints. I don't keep them longer than four to five feet. I just break them up with a different stone. pretty fast so we went a little bit off alignment so I'm just realigning it back to what it's supposed to be. Normally you wouldn't be able to tell the difference but I can tell. If you look at your patio and it goes slightly off to one side. I don't like that. We'll quickly adjust and make it looking straight. So thanks for watching this week guys. Hopefully by the time we see you next week we'll have all the patios done. The backyard finished, we'll have the front torn up and starting installing there. And see you next week.